We're gonna add some weight to the bar to start this video. Jim Cat, we're gonna add some weight to the bar to start the video. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Jim Cat's gonna have a lot of new gym to protect pretty soon from mice and varmints. Yeah. right. We're gonna start off with the deadlifting here, and then tomorrow, in the same video, we are gonna be unloading the final shipment. Desperately need a deload. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun though. It's okay. You don't have to succeed to have fun, right? Let's move on to the uh, last equipment unloading. This is the final part two of the number of equipment shipments that we've got. To me, this is like blowing out candles on a birthday cake. It's just fun. Sam, look away. There we go. Did you make a wish? You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a box. That's interesting. Okay, we got <laughs> weight plates wrapped pieces of equipment down there to the new gym. Travis showed up with his rain boots and his rain All pants. Right, and I got, I got my mud boots and my juju pants. Oh. Which, by the way, this color swole will be back in stock sometime in the middle of the year. It's, it was discontinued in 2018. We're bringing it back because we've had a lot of people ask about it. There you go. This is a squat machine. It's a, it literally just says squat machine. And the thing in the very back I'm super excited about. That's, that's the... That is, that is the most badass vertical leg press on the planet. I think it is the rarest leg press machines that we have. The adjustment here. Oh yeah, you can load it up here and here. And it's going, he has a full range of motion right now. There you go. Conspicuous. Um, <laughs> um, Extravagant. Gregarious. Gregarious. We're gonna dress the high row machine up as a dragon. The hack squat is a. Uh, I don't have a hack squat. I didn't get a hack squat or a leg press because there's a lot of other options. I'm gonna save that for the future. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Sam, you're asking about Pallet Wars. Pallet Wars is a new series on this YouTube channel where we're gonna take bodybuilders, strong men. Um, what else, what else do you have? Power lifters, arm wrestlers. Um, all gymnasts, these, ninjas. Gymnasts, ninjas. And we are going to uh, give them pallets full of gym equipment and make them race across the room with them. Um, so you guys let us know what type of events that we can come up with for pallet wars to make it the best series ever. Well, we also have like some synchronized swimmers or something like that to go ahead and choreograph. Ah! You okay? Oh, I, 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 I didn't catch the first part, but okay. play pallet by wars. play, what is it? It was an assisted pallet jack press. Yep, it's my first Smith machine. Oh. Judge me. <laughs> we have another delivery? Uh, I think so, right? Is this five out of four? Huh. These are my friends from the used and new gym store. These have been the people that have been helping me out outfit my gyms since, well, we uh, moved into the rental house and the barn. Okay, we got lighter. Let's get in there. Putting things in places and then moving those things back out of the places that we put them in because new things come in that we forgot that we had. If you're in the North Carolina area, check them out because they have some great deals. They're great people. They have an and Instagram account too where you can see what they get. Hello. Hello. So we got some guys from the new and used gym store. Hey guys! Hey, I need a hoodie like you guys. Hey! How's it going? Good to see you guys again. 
I think you put on a little shoulder mask. <laughs> hey, fuck your leg. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, man. You doing well? Yeah, man. Hey, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did Janelle do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it used deadlift platforms? They're from a high school? What are they from? Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill High School. Okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. They have like a big, like a Bear Paw yep. logo on it. I was like, whatever, it'll do, it'll do its purpose. Mufu <laughs> Dad loves Jacob's Ladder. It's one of his favorite things. So I bought him a Jacob's Ladder. Got a stair, stair climber. Very, very good price. It's also sold to me. <laughs> Got our new fridge magnet. This is a magnet. Will it go to mono? <laughs> Shoe stretch machine. <laughs> All right. I've always liked the true stretch machine. It was always a fun thing to find at a gym. Uh, we're gonna put this back on because I need to know what stretches are best in the cage, okay? We'll reference it. Right. We got everything that's in here that's supposed to be in this room that's new. You know, we've gotten a few questions about why are you putting the equipment in before the room is actually done? Uh, well, I mean, I started building the building in- uh, July? June 7th, and it was supposed to be done in October. And then I got pushed back to November, yep. and then December, and then January. Now it's February. It's and probably March and by the time we're watching this video. Equipment. We've had to push back the equipment deliveries, hence the equipment came at the same time the building was actually built. In order to build the building, you have to have all these different things kind of synchronized and coordinated together. And it's not the easiest thing I've ever done. Uh, strongman power rack time lapse going right now. It's so tall! <laughs> what the hell? I can't even get it all in frame, it's so tall. Oh, dude, just go oh, it's not a pull-up bar anymore, it's a test your jumping height <laughs> bar. Oh, I touched it. Uh -huh. Damn! Oh, yeah. it. Someone grabbed it! Yes, sir. Is that the Dude. biggest rack you ever put together? Oh, yeah. oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 120. 120. 120 mm -hmm. inches. How many feet is that? 10, Ten feet. Mm -hmm. oh, that's what a 10 foot tall man would look like. Yep. Yeah. What do you want to do? <laughs> Somebody's trying to piss you off. They put a plate up there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put. <laughs> this is where the 100 pound plates go. That is a combination incline press, uh, high pull down from uh, isolat pull down from hammer strength. I actually bought it from them, and uh, now I'm giving it back. Pilot bridge. Uh oh. What are we gonna be doing with the barn gym? We have these barn doors. We have this cool driveway I built out there, and you guys have seen us do a lot of workouts. Uh, in 2020 and on my Instagram out on the driveway we built just because the lighting is good the thumbnails pop on Instagram which helps with views and stuff and uh, makes the footage look a lot cooler it's just fun to be out there and have a long walkway so this is gonna be like a strongman barn anything that has like a sled push pull it's just gonna be stored in here and some of this equipment is still gonna stay in here that my old friend my old friend oh how I cursed at you so many times you were not the worst because you were here We bought this from the used and new gym store as well, but I'm keeping this one because <laughs> there's too many memories I have on it. And I might want to do some leg extensions after stones. You know, who knows? Yeah, you have to move in. Yeah, yeah it was crowded as hell when we moved in that day, wasn't it? It was. We managed to thin it down enough to where it actually was a gym. You got some insulation here. Okay. You guys ready to put it up? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, embrace it! Embrace it, you hands! That's a lot easier when you don't try to throw it. Oh, yeah. When he's moving cars, we have a pallet bridge. That is heavy. We're moving the dumbbells now. <laughs> Ta da! It's gone. Yay. But where did it go? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Your low row. My, my, uh, 
The my low all, row that only you like. My all weather low row. I love this low row. It's got this cheesy 80s logo on it. Come here, look at this. Look at that. Pyramid of Fitness Industries. It's got a serial number. I wonder if I can call them on the phone and ask for tech support. Uh, looked out in the rain. I think I might have messed up the guide rods on this. It's a little rusty here. Are you happy now? Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at all this elbow room. Yeah, we got all the elbow room now. Right the twist. <laughs> they invented this technique. We saw it last year. It's amazing. They move across this plywood bridge they build in my muddy yes. property. Yeah, like him. Travis. Yep. Well, I guess me or him. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a moving bridge. Whoa, oh, moving oh, bridge. Not. What do you think of that technique? I love it. That's how we built the pyramids with a bunch of rolling logs. That's how they built the pyramids. Yeah. What are you doing now? Selling <laughs> Well, let's go do something else. Yeah. That's where our hammer strength machine was. Now. Well, we're giving it, giving it away. Goodbye, hammer strength machine. So we are signing this. Is this for Janelle? Is it just, uh, well, who is it for? Well, it's for us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mufu Dad made this. Uh, this reverse hyper. Yeah, why? Yeah. Mufu Dad made this uh, reverse hyper, and I've left it in the rain for the past two months. Oh. <laughs> God, this feels horrible. And uh, I think this reverse hyper cost under a hundred bucks in terms of materials. Right? <laughs> Talking about a home gym. Yeah. Use anything you find at your home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to have the the best equipment in the world to get a good workout. You just need some wood and a dad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Aww. Standing ovation. I've already, it's already been one moment in this video I felt like I was blowing up birthday candles. I feel like I'm blowing up birthday candles. <laughs> Goodbye, good. reverse hyper. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. <laughs> a great group of guys we're really lucky to have friends to help us out like that yeah thank you used to new gym store that's we've had a lot of trucks come in here the past three weeks and there's gonna be a lot more coming in here to finish oh. off the inside of that building oh there they go see you bye guys doing my first real workout in the gym down there in the new gym pretty soon it's gonna be a squat workout and we get to use the monolift and i'm still gonna use this area like I said, it's going to be Strongman Gym, repurpose it a little bit, so. It's real. It's real. It's real. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and encouraging us. And hanging in there with us. Hanging in there with us. Lots of, lots of changes. Lots of, life is about change. Positive change. Positive change. Life is about positive change and trying to do the best we can. I think we get a little bit better ending to this video. Oh, uh, and now we have sunshine. And uh, instead of just stumbling across what I'm going to say, I actually wrote a little, little speech so I could say exactly what I want to say instead of just trying to grasp for words while someone films me. So, I, uh, here, Sam, you, you can hold on to this. Let's see if I can uh, recite my own speech by memory here. I, can't, I can't even remember. Let me, let me paper. See. I need to see the paper, yeah. <laughs> Look at your flashcards. <laughs> Look at my flashcards. Just because you keep changing and growing and striving for things doesn't mean you're not grateful for what you have or proud of where you come from. So I'm proud of my past and I'm grateful for it. The 25 year old who used to wake up every day at 5 a.m. and just slam grits and eggs down his throat, drink a full pot of coffee and deadlift in his parents' freezing garage before driving to work in the morning. Those are great times. That was cool, I'm grateful for that. That 25 year old who used to do that is still inside now in this 35 year old being that I am. So today we're building- It's a cocoon. A, it's like a what? It's a cocoon. It's a cocoon. Cue the, cue the 80s <laughs> trying, movie. Cue the, cue the, oh, when you said cocoon, I thought of cone heads for some reason. <laughs> uh, but today we're building a big gym, okay? And it's, it's a big step I'm taking in my life. And uh, it, it's, you know, life is about outward growth and inward growth, both outward and inward. So why not build a big gym? Why not build a big gym and have some friends over and make some cool videos? So I couldn't do this without my friends and family. Thank you, Sam. 
and thank you uh, everybody that was in this video so far and everyone that has helped me got here. I'm super grateful for it. And uh, I gotta read the rest of this here to get it out. What about the folks who actually follow your journey? Are you I mean, for yeah, them? so we're gonna make a lot of new friends and we're gonna make a lot of new videos and we do appreciate you guys for following us. And uh, yeah, so we want you guys to be part of what we're doing and we wanna learn and we wanna grow. This is, this is what this is all about, okay? This, this is what I really wanted to say, I think. So how's that for the end of the video? Sounds good. We're, we're making steps forward. We're involving positive people and building a community. That's the <laughs> ultimate goal. Well, in the next video, we'll be uh, squatting. So that'll be the first workout in the new gym. We're excited about that. And uh, yeah. Time for some vitamin D. Time for, yeah, I'm really enjoying this right now. This is, <laughs> this is nice. This is nice.